good job it's your boy ross back again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 times wwe wrestlers made kids cry i'm not gonna lie to you it's something about when a wrestler is doing some great heel work and make a kid actually cry that is some of the best work some of the best heel work man when a kid the camera pans to a child just in tears because they legitimately are hurt by what they're seeing so I know we, it's, it's it's kind of a sad thing to, to see a child cry, but it, that means the, the wrestler is doing their job. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 7K. Let's get right into this bad boy. The WWE product has always tried to appeal to young fans in some capacity. Mm -hmm. However, from time to time, young fans can get upset by what is unfolding in the WWE ring. Yep. And this can lead to them crying during the show itself. There are also times where a young fan may interact with a heel and the heel will remain in character and result in the young fan either getting scared or breaking down in tears. By which times were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania well, looks at 10 times WWE wrestlers made kids cry. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Alberto Del Rio. A key part of Alberto Del Rio's act at house shows when he was a heel in WWE was ripping up fan signs that supported his rivals. This was a rather controversial move from Del Rio and it actually landed him in hot water on a number of occasions. Oh, wow. One time he ripped up a kid's sign during a house show in 2012 and the kid burst into tears. The mother Aww. of the kid was actually so annoyed with what happened that she actually went to TMZ who ran a story on the incident. WWE had to release a public apology to the mother, but a number of fans believe that the mother was simply trying to get publicity or financial gain. Del Rio yeah, man, that's that's wrestling. You, you've seen that so many times. Uh, it, the fact that, like, come on, bro. You just tell the child, you know, you go along with it. You know what I'm saying? But that's wrestling. I don't know how many times we've seen wrestlers rip up signs. I'd be laughing if you ripped up my sign. I'd be like, bro, that's fucking great. You, you know, I'd be cussing you out. Just having a good time, but uh, I think that's a little bit too much. Rio would perform the same spot a year later before a house show match against Dolph Ziggler. Once again, it made a young fan <laughs> cry, but luckily, Ziggler went over to the fan and gave her a hug, which no doubt made up for it. Number see, 9, see. The Undertaker. When The Undertaker first made his WWE debut at the Survivor Series in 1990, fans had never seen a character like him before on television. His debut came as a complete surprise and according mm -hmm. to Taker himself, his initial debut and presentation was so scary that it actually made a number of kids cry inside the arena. Speaking on a special edition of WWE Untold, the dead man would go into detail on how his debut upset younger members of the WWE audience. I was a scary monster that mm -hmm. everyone was terrified of. I remember vividly making my entrance and looking and seeing kids crying. I think everybody has a little bit of darkness in them anyway, and I think I tapped in on that, and it kind of became cool to have that dark element in your personality. That, that, I'm not going to lie to you, when I was a kid, I used to be afraid of The Undertaker and Kane. They used to legitimately scare me. I was like, oh, this motherfucker is a dead man wrestling, and then you got a guy that likes to set shit on fire. Like, uh... I'm good. <laughs> Number eight, Kane. Here we go, John Kane. Cena had some of the most passionate fans in the world, and a strong majority of his fans are Our young kids. children. Back on the episode of Raw in 2018, Kane would deliver a devastating choke slam on Cena. Cena and Kane had a mini feud on television, and this would lead to Cena going one on one with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 34. Unfortunately, a young fan got extremely upset that his hero had just been laid out in the ring, and this led to the young fan getting emotional. The young Aww. fan's father attempted to console the boy, but it did little to make the fan feel better. Number 7, Aww. The Fiend. Sometimes it's not just kids in attendance that can get upset. Sometimes it can actually be young children watching at home who can find the WWE product upsetting. WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle shared a story related to his children crying when he was attacked by The Fiend on Raw oh. back in 2019. This attack took place when Angle was a guest referee for a match between Drew McIntyre and Cedric Alexander. Before the match could officially begin, The Fiend would strike and he would lay out Angle with the mandible claw, leaving the Olympic gold medalist motionless in the ring. Angle would discuss how his children reacted to the attack during an episode of The Kurt Angle Show. The former champion revealed, My children, when I was attacked by The Fiend, they started to cry. Aww. They were watching TV that night. My wife called me right after and she said, What the hell is going on there? Why did they let The Fiend attack you? Aren't you fighting anymore? I told her it was just my job. Number 6, <laughs> Bailey. Oh, that's... that's... 
and it's it's always interesting to me to know like when the wrestlers they're obviously their children are gonna watch that why wouldn't you watch your your you know saying your dad or your mom wrestle i would if my mom and dad was a wrestler i'd be watching that every week so to see something like that and be like oh no you know they're kids so they believe in he's hurt like of course, they would be kind of, you know, saddened by that and start crying. That's 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 adorable. <laughs> the decision to turn Bailey heel in 2019 was, was a, a huge one. risk for WWE. It was a good one. Bailey was one of the most popular female stars in the division, and she was incredibly beloved by the younger members of the fan base. When WWE decided to turn her heel, they would have her remove everything that made her so endearing as a babyface. Mm -hmm. The ponytail would be changed, the music would be altered, plus the Bailey buddies would be no more. On the October 11th, 2019 edition of SmackDown, Bailey infamously destroyed the Bailey buddies with a kendo stick. Following the dramatic act, a video surfaced online of a young Aww. fan breaking down in tears after what Bailey had done to the Bailey buddies. Aww. Although some sympathy should have been offered towards the fan, uh, Bailey addressed the crying fan in a simple tweet. Number 5. Baron Corbin Baron Corbin has cemented himself as one of the best heels in WWE over the past few years, and although Corbin is one of the top villains in the squared circle, outside of the ring, he seems to be one of the nicest guys around. But Back in 2017, that. Corbin was wrestling Shinsuke Nakamura in a dark match following SmackDown, and during the course of the dark match, Corbin actually managed to make a young fan cry with his heelish antics. Following the match, Corbin would go up to the young fan, offer an embrace, and he even gave the fan his t-shirt. Corbin received huge praise for his efforts in making the young fan feel better, and although Corbin tried to claim that the kid was a family member, everyone knows that Corbin was simply trying to get some heel heat back following his babyface-ass conduct. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, because, you, you know, in them dark shows, it's, it's give or take, because so anyone can have a camera and just record it, so he kind of broke kayfabe there, and he tried to cover it up but he was just being a good guy but i know back in the day that that was a no-go even at house shows a lot of people for the most part they stayed in character before you know people start wrestlers start getting on social media and stuff like that and kayfabe started to die out but back in back in the day in the attitude era and beyond earlier than that a lot of people just stayed within their character no matter what the situation was number four kevin owens in late 2016, Kevin Owens was WWE's top heel and his heel work was some of the best WWE fans had seen in recent memory. Mm -hmm. During a WWE live event, Owens made a young fan cry after he refused to high-five a fan who was wearing a Roman Reigns t-shirt. Ah! The fan's mother naturally took to social media to air her grievances and she stated, All night he was getting high-fives from other wrestlers and all was smiles but for some reason when Kevin Owens came out, he singled out my son and commented on whose shirt he was wearing and told him, <laughs> You should get this shirt. Actually, don't get this shirt. I don't want you to ever wear my shirt. Don't you ever try to touch me. All because my seven-year-old wanted a high five and wasn't wearing his shirt. My heart sank. He became visibly upset, sat down and kept staring at the gate. I couldn't help it. I started crying. Aww. The fans quite rightly were firmly on the side of Owens, who was simply doing his job as yeah, a heel. He's a Owens heel. outright refused to apologize to the mother or the kid, and he even tweeted a response to the mother's statement saying, A wrestler told my son not to touch him. I'm completely heartbroken. Well, not really, but if I complain, maybe I'll get some free stuff. <laughs> he's a heel. Like, uh, he's a heel. That's his job. He, he's to be a heel. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it teaches a, a life lesson. Not everybody's going to be kind to you. When you grow up, you realize not everybody's going to be nice to you. Not everybody's going to be kind to you. So you can't expect that. But I bet he'll always remember that. Oh, man, that's funny. That's funny. Number three, Roman Reigns. Oh, this should be Summer a good SummerSlam 2021 was main evented by Roman Reigns defending his Universal title against John Cena. The match was highly anticipated by fans Enjoyable as it was match. Reigns' biggest match since turning heel a year prior, and it was Cena's first match in over a year. Reigns would be victorious in the match, which didn't come as a surprise to yeah. a lot of our fans in attendance. However, one young fan was expecting Cena to win. When Reigns got the win on Cena, the young fan began to cry. Aww. Footage of the young fan was then posted on social media, and Reigns would actually be asked to respond to the fan when he appeared on WWE's show The Bump. Reigns would state, Pertaining to the kid and the tweet, I'm just trying to be the good guy here. John Cena let this kid down, you know what I'm saying? So I had to go out and I had to clean up the mess. That's the type of guy I am. That's why I'm the face of WWE. I'm out here making days with just a little retweet because John Cena couldn't get the job done. He ran his mouth, talked all the smack, got this poor little child, this precious little child upset. 
If he would have been a fan, he would have been rooting for the head of the table. It would have been a victory celebration. (laughs) This is why he's goaded. This is why he's goaded. But that response right there, I'm sorry. That's not even character. That's that's how he really feels. And I love that response. It's like, bro, I'm sorry, little kid. He let you down. Man, you should have been a fan of me. You would have been good. If you would have fan of me, you you been straight. <laughs> I love that, man. Rom is the best thing in WWE. He is he is a gem. He is a fantastic gem. I love Number it. two, Sasha Banks. Well, the oh, Bailey yeah. super fan Jeez. is he is one of the most well known members of the WWE universe. Yep. Her most notable appearance on WWE programming came back in NXT mm-hmm. Takeover Respect in 2015. And during the Iron Man match between Banks and Bailey, Banks would shout in Izzy's face and would yep. even steal her headband. <laughs> this led to Izzy bursting into tears and her father had to console her. But following the match, Banks would actually give Izzy the flowers she received during the post-match segment. Banks clearly never meant to upset the young fan, but it created a memorable moment that fans still talk about to this very Watching that, I was like, yo, this is this is incredible. This is heel work. That's how you make a real th- Beautiful. She was infamous because of this segment, man. Oh my God, legendary. Every day, and number one, Triple H. But Triple H was in the midst of his run as part of the villainous authority stable Mm -hmm. on television back in 2015 when he accidentally made a young fan cry. During a tag team match on Raw, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon were sitting at ringside and this young fan just so happened to be a huge Triple H fan. The young fan would chant for Triple H throughout the course of the match and Triple H responded by saying, Hey, stop messing with me. I'm trying to do my job over here. This led to the young fan getting upset and Triple H decided to break character to console the fan. Oh, Triple H wow. would inform the kid that he was just playing around and there was no need to be upset. Amazingly, following the show, Triple H actually invited the kid and his family backstage to meet the superstars, which was certainly wow. an extremely generous thing for the WWE executive to do. But they have wow, he t- didn't even have to do that. I'm going to be honest with you. I, that kid will forever remember that. Like, you, you know, hey, man, let me, let me, y'all come to the back. Y'all can meet the wrestlers. They're just there at the show. They're not expecting anything extra. That's awesome. Triple H didn't have to do that. That was pretty cool. This was a dope video. I love little interesting, like, tidbits, you know, videos like this. Uh, this one, this one was cool. I, I definitely enjoyed this one. I, the, my favorite one, I would have to say, for me, probably be the Roman Reigns one. His response was gold. Oh my God, his response was gold. But the one that, uh, my second favorite one would probably be the Sasha Banks one, which she did to the Bailey super fan. Oh, watching that, like remembering that sequence was fantastic. It was, it was, it was beautiful to see. That's what you call fantastic kill work. But I, uh, man, this was great. This was an enjoyable video. I enjoyed this video. Hope you guys, you, hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to 70K. Oh, and before I end this video, put down your favorite moment from this video. Favorite story of a, of a wrestler making a kid cry. Put that down below in the comment section. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.